lot of he got lot of pride so what happens he wants to go and meet the supreme personality of godhead thinking he will get a red carpet warm welcome he went there the dwarapalakas were standing out they asked him uh, yes what do you want he said i want to meet the supreme personality of godhead okay okay wait wait we will go inside we will ask uh, the lord whether we can send you out or not he was little bit you know taken aback what is this why are they asking like this he said yes yes go 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 ask your lord will call me he will come and welcome me like that he said so they went inside okay lord said okay send him also okay that means there are already so many so they came and told brahma okay the lord called you inside uh, but he wanted to know one thing yes the lord told before he the, he comes inside go and ask him which brahma he is so they came and asked which brahma you are he again got so wild there's only one brahma why are they asking like this then again they came and told okay you come brahma went inside and he saw so many brahmas were sitting inside so many then his pride came down then he thought in you know, the same way we think no this is mine 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 how many minds i said this i will do that all we do it no see when we see from up chair up means from the you know like uh, uh, eternal sky when we see the whole earth will look so small very small and then in that earth we don't even know like so many continents are there in that continent you know we may live in one continent only definitely one person cannot live in all continent okay then you take the continent then in that continent also there will be one country so one person will live in one country then again we come down come down come down come down finally one city one village one small taluk one small place one point when you see from up that point will not be visible only that is our existence you know so we we should not have that even brahma had i don't deny that is why now the lord keeps on teaching them lesson brahma vimohan leela all of us know that brahma was taught a wonderful lesson this uh, govardhan leela krishna taught a lesson to indra indra was so uh, i mean he was thinking i only give rain because of that the grain comes because of that people are able to eat so they have to do eknya to satisfy uh, my thirst that means i am longing for price appreciation so they have to quench my thirst they have to glorify me telling the mantras for me doing the agnya so finally what happened he uh, krishna told there is no need at all leave it okay then they stop the agnya he got so wild and so much it rained in vrindavan we know the terrestrial rain came for seven days and night what happened vrindavan was flooding but did anyone suffer not at all krishna just lifted the govardhan in the small little finger of left hand for seven nights he was holding like this and every living entity including the cows and the other cattle rajwasis what what is the need to ask about it everybody was under his shelter nobody was feeling hungry nobody was feeling tired on the other hand krishna was holding all these gopas were thinking oh our little krishna standing in one leg he always stands in one leg na like that and with the little finger he is holding oh he will be feeling very tired like that they were you know holding with a small stick thinking they were helping krishna right so finally indra came to know no body else other than the supreme personality of god can can do this leela seven days holding the such a big over then under which the whole vrindavan was there right so then he understood okay this little boy who has come as a person otherwise we don't understand right everybody consider krishna as a person except especially for the gopas they all are again eternal associates of the lord they have come from the goloka right so here now what happens when was gita spoken at just now we saw in the first verse it was spoken by lord krishna to the sun god 
he gave it to Vevaswan. Vevaswan gave it to his son, Manu, and then Ikshvaku, right? So the first verse, if you open and see once again, you'll be able to understand. So here, 27 cycles, we saw that 27 multiply, one yuga, Kali yuga. Kali yuga itself is 4,32,000. 4, Similarly, Dwapara, Treta, and Satya put together 10. So multiply by 10. So you got this formula, 27 multiply, 4,32,000 multiply, 10. This is the 27 cycles of uh, four yugas, which is nothing but one man month, right? Then time elapsed in Kali Yuga. In this Kali Yuga, out of 4,32,000 years, only 5,121 years have passed. So this Gita was spoken 5,000 years before by the Lord. Kurukshetra was took place 5,000 years before. So uh, so much time is left. Kali Yuga already each and every Atma, you know, it does all the atrocious karma goes again the same atma comes for how many times this atma will be doing the circle i don't know that is janma mrityu jara vyadi birth death old age and disease and the same soul who has accumulated so much of praradha karma same soul will go again and come back bring all the praradha karma so many years have to pass that is why it is told you know in kaliyuga very soon very very short time, people will start eating people. Now itself it has happened, you know, that in South Africa and all you go, <coughs> you can see, at least we here, but there you can see, people have started eating human flesh. So where it's going to end, we don't know. So what should we do? We should not come back. So easy. Is it possible that we will not come back? 100%. How? We have to reach Goloka. How to reach? Do we have a helicopter? Of course, elevator. Prabhupada has given. Only you have to put your leg on the elevator and even Prabhupada will take us. So how to put the leg in the elevator? Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare. We know Kali Yuga Dharma is chanting the Maha Mantra. Satya Yuga Dharma was Meditation, Treta Yuga Dharma was Ajna, Sacrifice, Dwapra Yuga um, uh, was uh, uh, Temple Worship and Kali Yuga Dharma is chanting the holy name. Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, he himself came. He was feeling so pity, so compassionate for all these fallen souls. What all the things they do, they have, you know, Vedas they learn, but not in the right perspective. The message which has again, one by one, one by one, it came and the real meaning of Vedas and the Puranas, everything is lost. So that is the reason Chaitanya Mahaprabhu himself came and told in this Kali Yoga, where will these people go and do meditation? Like Satya Yoga, not possible. Okay, who will do Yajna? Yajna mantra also nobody can tell perfectly because who does the Yajna for their livelihood to earn their bread and butter? So whatever mantra they know, they will say. They will not perform the Yajna perfectly how it has to be as it has been prescribed in the Vedas. So what happens here? The Yajna is also not performed properly. So Treta Yuga Kali Dharma is also not possible. Then he thought Dwapara Yuga. Dwapara Yuga also visiting dams, visiting temples. Even if you go inside the temple, it's, you know, we have been taught right from the beginning, right from our childhood. What we have been taught? If you see God, you have to ask for something. So even if you don't have anything in your mind to ask for something. He will go there and stand and see. What did I ask for when I came last time? Did God give me or not? Should I ask now? What should I ask? We will think. Right? That's what we have been taught. So going to the temple worship is not for that. Going to the temple worship is to uh, glorify the Lord. Ishwara Parama Krishna Satchidananda Vigraha. That Vigraha is Satchidananda. Anadiradir Govinda Sarvakarana Karanam. Oh Lord, you are Sarvakarana Karanam. Cause of all causes. There is no cause beyond you or no cause equal to you. You are the supreme cause. This is what we have to glorify. 
will that happen even if you go to temple like dwapara yuga so that going to temple worship is also not possible in kali yuga so kali yuga nobody wants to do any austerity so shila prabhupada and actually mahaprabhu gave us the mantra shila prabhupada has given us a very easy way how to chant what is the way to chant how we can how many number of rounds we have to chant so chanting does not have any restriction wherever you want you can chant with whomsoever you want you can chant whenever you want you can chant however you want you can chant so so simple chant and be happy this is the you know slide we always use if you all have done uh, um, the uh, kids level or something you see the slides start chant and be happy so where the real happiness lies in chanting chant and be happy so accepting that before everything like thank you mataji hari krishna when gita came on earth just now i told 5000 years before krishna gave now hindi dwapara yuga right followed by the kali yuga so when the dwapara yuga ended that time krishna you know there are so many other reason why the lord comes but here at the end of the dwapara yuga krishna went back and the kali yuga started so uh acha okay here again the explanation is given treta yuga and dwapara yuga just now we, we know why it is five dwa is two tre is three so three plus two five so five into four lakh thirty two thousand treta yuga and dwapara yuga put together so how many that is two thousand one hundred and sixty or two point one six zero million trillion years right okay how many years have already lapsed in kali yuga 5117 years have already lapsed in the mahabharata chandil parva 348 uh, verse number 51 and 52 we can trace out the history of gita as follows the where from we got that first shloka we just now saw you remember that krishna gave it to sun god the same one is also proved over here that trace means these verses also prove that that treta yuga dau chatava vivaswan mana veda dadau manus chaloka bhaktyartha suta ekna vaika veda dadau ekna vaake vacha kati in the beginning of the Treta Yuga, this science of the relationship with the Supreme Personality of Godhead was delivered by Vivaswan to his son Manu. Then Manu, who is the first father of mankind, from him the mankind started, right? So, gave this to his son you may have a doubt why not mataji brahma he was his father right so brahma did not create uh, this manu as other human create their progenies right so he also manu also was created by a glance of brahma so that is why it is told that from manu onwards the real progeny started he gave it to his son uh, Mahavraja Ikshvaku, the king of this earth. He was the first king of the earth planet. And forefather of the Raghu dynasty, the first dynasty in which Raghu dynasty is not, none other than the Ramachandra dynasty in which uh, our Lord Ram, Sri Ram appeared, right? Therefore, Bhagavad Gita existed in the human society from the time of Maharaja Ikshvaku. Why everything is told? Because Arjuna is asking Krishna. Oh Krishna, where was I? You are telling me you told him. I don't remember that. So the proof, everything is given over here. Gita came to, came on this earth when? Two million years ago. So here exactly if you see 2.16. So approximately 2 million years ago it came, right? Hare Krishna Mataji. There's a question. Is there a question? Okay. Uh, so one day of Brahma is equal to 8.640, I think, trillion years, right? 
वन हावर ऑफ ब्रह्मा इज इक्वल टू थ्री हंड्रेड एंड सिक्सटी मिलियन इयर्स वन मिनट ऑफ ब्रह्मा इज इक्वल टू सिक्सटी लैक दैट इज सिक्स मिलियन इयर्स वन सेकेंड ऑफ ब्रह्मा इज इक्वल टू वन लैक इयर्स हरे कृष्णा इट्स इज See to remember if you remember three forty two three forty two double multiply eight sixty four. How does Krishna appear? Actually, Krishna is not born. He was there from the beginning. As I told, there was no time when he was not there. Okay, again a very wonderful shloka. Ajo pisan na vyatma bhuta na mishwar pisan. प्रकृति स्व अतिष्ठाय संभवाटल बॉडी नेवर डिटेरियरेट्स लाइक भूताना लाइक एनी अदर लिविंग एंटिटी मै बॉडी डज नॉट डिटेरियरेट ओके सो दट मीन डिवाइन जन्म कर्म चे मे दिव्यम दट इज दिव्यम दिव्य दिव्य मपियरस दट इज ओके द लॉर्ड अपियर्स हिस् इनकारनेशन हि इनकारनेट पुरुष अवतार वी से इट्स नी एक्सपैंशन ऑफ द सुप्रीम पर्सनलिटी ऑफ गॉड कैट सो हि इज नॉट बॉर्न एंड ऑल दो आई एम द लॉर्ड ऑफ ऑल सेंशियंट बीइंग्स I still appear in every millionum in my original transcendental form. In his original transcendental form, in every millionum he comes. As we know, like in Dwapara Yuga, he came as Lord Krishna. In Treta Yuga, he came as Lord Ramachandra. So he says, in every Yuga, I come as the Lord only. But only thing is. even uh, ramachandra and all we say it is the avatar but krishna is not the avatar the lord himself without any expansion he came here so it is known as avatari that is why actually by ramachandra ram avatar is purushottam avatar that is what happened he came as a um, as a maryada purusham but in uh, dwapara yuga he came to perform so many leelas he you know killed so many demons so he wanted to perform so many leelas so that he gives pleasure to his devotees that is the reason that was the only reason in fact you know we say paritranaya sadhuna to um uh, to number one annihilate the miscreant and to uh, elevate the pious right but there is no need for the lord to come for all these things sitting there in his own home with he doesn't even have to even move his eyebrow things will happen but still he came here why how, how to give pleasure to yashoda how to give uh, pleasure to nanda baba how to give uh, you know like pleasure to the gopis that is the reason he came over here so he comes in every millionum in his original transcendental form hari krishna mata ji 4.7 it's such an important shloka and every one of you will remember right all of you might be knowing this eda eda ki dharmasya glanir bhavati bharata abhyutanama dharmasya tadatmanam srijam yagam whenever and wherever there's a decline in the religious practice so whenever it starts declining wo disenan and bharata and a predominant rise in e religion adharma increases dharma diminishes who comes the lord himself comes he descend i come as myself i descend and that time i come which is the time paritrana sari yada yada ki dharmasya glanir bhavati bharata abhyutana adharmasya so what are the reason whenever there is a decline in the religious practice or whenever there is a predominant rise in the e religion krishna says i come millionum after millionum hari krishna this is ajopi sanavyaatma yada yada hi dharmasya paritranaya sadhuna and the next one you all must by heart it 
ओके सो परित्राणाय साधूना विनाशाय च दुष्कृतान धर्म संस्थापनार्थाय संभवामि युगे युगे इन ऑर्डर टू डिलीवर द पायस एंड टू अनिहिलेट द मिसक्रियंस सो इफ देयर आर मिसक्रियंस दे शुड नॉट बी लिविंग राइट बिकॉज़ दे क्रिएट लॉट ऑफ इंपायस एक्टिविटीज सो इट इज नाउ द लॉर्ड कम्स टू kill them similarly in order to deliver the pious pious means the those who perform the activities as prescribed in the vedas for the pleasure of the lord not for our pleasure if i if i do this yajna i will get one i will get one lottery ticket no for the pleasure if i do this yajna of course indra will be happy but who is indra's boss he will bhuktanam yagya tapasam sarvalokam yeshwaram sugridam sarva bhutanam gnyatvamam shantim richati so the lord says one who knows that i am the enjoyer i am the annihilator i am the creator he only can live in peace shantim richati peace formula right hari krishna mata ji परित्राणाय साधूना विनाशाय च दुष्कृता धर्म संस्थापनाय संभवा युगे युगे हरे कृष्ण नेक्स्ट वन आलो वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट जन्म कर्म च मे दिव्य यो वेति तत्व त्यक्वा देखम पुनर्जन्म नैति मेति सोर्जुन जन्म कर्म च मे दिव्य वन गु कन्सीडर्स मै नेचर अस् ट्रांसेंटल दिव्य ओके एवं यो वेति तत्वतः सो द एक्टिविटीज वन माय अपीयरेंस एंड द एक्टिविटीज डस नॉट अपॉन लिविंग तेक्त्वा देखम अपॉन लिविंग दिस बॉडी तेक्त्वा द सोल लिविंग द बॉडी बट अटेंस माय इटर्नल अबोड नैति माम एति दैट विल कम टू माय अबोड हु ओ अर्जुना सो व्हाट इज कृष्ण सेइंग जन्म कर्म च मे दिव्यम वन हु नोस दैट आई एम द सुप्रीम पर्सनालिटी ऑफ गॉड हेड एंड आई एम द नेचर ऑफ माय एवरी अपीयरेंस एंड एवरी एक्टिविटीज इट डस नॉट एग्जिस्ट अपॉन लिविंग दिस बॉडी आई बट इट टेक्स हिज दे विल नॉट टेक देयर बर्थ अगेन इन दिस मटेरियल वर्ल्ड बट दे विल कम टू me and my abode so obviously what is said we know very well that is the transcendental nature of the lord who appears millionum after millionum he is the root cause of all activities what we perform okay but uh, of course as a he only watches as a paramatma he sits and watches he has given us the free will he will not sit inside and tell us this is wrong don't do it because he doesn't like his children to live like a kaidi in the jail giving so much of food but your hand is tied will you enjoy the food same way he has given such a wonderful material nature we can enjoy if he does not give this freedom of enjoying don't touch this the adam and eve if story you might be knowing don't eat this particular fruit if you eat this particular fruit what happened they started feeling that you know like uh, anartha nivet anarthas all anarthas start coming after that kama krodha moha lobha madha matsarya same way here he is uh, telling that one who knows that i am the transcendental nature they will not come back again to this world where will they come naiti ma meeti sojana they will come to my abode so beautiful lord damodar is looking na damodar uh, hari krishna mata ji i hope all of you may be, might be offering damodar aarati right very few days are left don't miss it say the damodar ashtakam and offer damodar aarati yes hari uh, has anybody in history able to understand krishna yes also no also right okay vitaraga bhay krodha manmayamam upatsachaka bhava bhagavo gyana tapasa puta mad bhavam agataha being freed from this attachment vitaraga raga means attachment vitaraka it's all freed from the attachment bhay krodha fear and anger 
being fully absorbed in me. Manmaya mamu pashitya. Manmaya, there is only one Lord. I have to upashita, worship this Lord. So forgetting all the dualities in life. Kama, Krodha, Moha. That just now I said. Right? Attachment, fear and anger. That is lust. Okay? The deep attachment when it, it gets to the um, in superlative degree, it becomes a lust. And we saw yesterday, satisfied lust leads to greed. If the lust is dissatisfied, it leads to anger. Right? Okay. Uh, so being freed from attachment, fear and anger, being fully absorbed in me and taking refuge in me. Many, many persons in the past became purified by knowledge of me. And thus they all attained transcendental love for me. When? When were they able to go? Freed from Lust, freed from attachment, fear and anger. Even when we worship the Lord, we should not be in fear. Oh Lord, if I don't do this, I will be landing up doing sin. If I don't offer boga, I'll be landing up in eating sin. Yesterday we saw that, right? That uh, what was Annad Bhavati Bhutani Parjanyatana Sambhavaka. Right? That what did they say? It said, without offering the boga to the Lord, if we eat, we are eating only the papa. Okay, and I scientifically also explained so well. Why do we have to offer? What is the need? If we don't offer, what are all the consequences we will feel and what we have done? So it is scientifically proved. So the Lord takes all the negativity and he gives us only the positivity of that food. Because one simple example, one person might have sold the vegetable with lots of grudge. This lady is bargaining like anything, go to hell. He might have thought it's mine and he would have sold the vegetable. That papa, go to hell, go to hell, go to hell, we'll be eating, right? So that is why with a pure heart, if we cook everything, keeping Krishna in the center, that I am doing it for you and offer it to him as boga or honor. Prasadam is honored. Boga is offered. So till the time we offer to the Lord, it doesn't become prashad. After we offer it to the Lord, we cannot offer ourselves also, no? So for ourselves, when we eat, we call it as honoring prasadam, offering boga. Okay? Hare Krishna Mataji. See, these are all the, one, who are all the, actually it's the Mahajan. There are 12 Mahajans. Okay, who are Mahajans? Who have only lived for the pleasure of the Lord, not for themselves. Tattva with, who are Tattva with. With me, I mean, with, with means knowing. Tattva means absolute truth. Who knows the absolute truth? What is the absolute truth? Once again, Nityo Nityanam Chetano Chetanam. That is the absolute truth. There is nothing equal to or more than the Lord, right? Okay, so who are the Mahajanas, 12 Mahajana? Brahma, Shampu, Shukha, Prakita, Narada, Janaka, Kumara, Kapila, Sayambhuva, Bhishma, Bali, Yama, Idi Mahajana. These are all the 12 Mahajanas. So what? why are they Mahajana? Because they lived all their life for the pleasure of the Lord. They did not live for even one minute for the pleasure of themselves because the tattva with I am not the body, I am the soul. Knowing this, they did every activity keeping Krishna in center. Hare Krishna Mataji. Okay. So what are you seeing here? Just to be for some time before I told you. One who who performs the devotional service, the Lord offers Sayujya, Sarupya, Salokya, Samipya, Sashti, Mukti, liberation. Isn't it? So what is the difference between Krishna and us? When do we get this Mukti? What is the difference? So simple it is. Can we compare, compete with them? No, definitely not. So we are the soul. Krishna is the whole. He is the whole and we are not that H-O-L-E, W-H-O-L-E. He is the whole, we are the 
soon one small amsha mamai vamsho jeeva loke jeeva bhuta sanatana all living entities are part and parcel of mine me so we are only anu anu matra we coming from krishna so what is the difference between him and us in qualities we have the same qualities six qualities the lord has got all rich all fame all knowledge all renunciation all beauty all strength six qualities the lord has got same qualities he has given us also because mame vamsho each and every pa particle of mine only so we all have got all we all are beautiful we have all the strength and we have all the knowledge renunciation everything everything we have but you tell me one thing if you have to taste you are making kheer of 5 kg do we eat the whole kheer and taste how is it we take one spoon one drop and check it how is it will the same one drop be equal to the whole kheer in taste obviously from that only we have taken so we have come from him only obviously we will have the same quality but not in quantity of of course 12 it is a kheer and one spoon of kheer is not the same in quantity but both are same in their quality in their taste similarly we are also same we are beautiful we have all the strength we have all the renunciation and knowledge we have all the fame everything but quantity is na ke barabar okay hari krishna mata ji so this full body is i mean external body is made up of the gross material and the internal body is made up of the subtle material that is the mind intelligence and ego ye etam am prapadyante tam sataiva majam yagam mama vartmanu martante manushya appartha sarvashaga all of them as they surrender unto me i reward accordingly you see no in this world somebody is doing too good somebody is not doing that well but we may know that person is not at all a good person still you see all the opulence what do you, what is this when we opulence the aishwarya what i said no the ashta aishwarya beauty strength fame um rich all so these people are so rich so beautiful everything is good for them but i i don't find their happy behavior is very good sometimes we think like that right but what happens it is the subtle body treatment the mind intelligence and the ego which has brought it from the previous birth so what we deserve only we will have so what should we do instead whatever we get we should be very thankful that's all how much we deserve we don't know he may be giving us more than what we deserve but we always crib that you don't give me enough so he will one day think i gave you enough still you cried keep on crying i don't want to give you how long it will take for him right he is giving it for our pleasure as i told he has created the entire universe nature for our pleasure that's why he doesn't want to make us kaidi so that we don't enjoy he wanted to give us the freedom do whatever you want sitting inside and he is watching but here what happened don't think that i am partial don't think that i am i do something more for somebody and nothing for somebody definitely not ye tamam prapatyante whatever you give me i will reciprocate you give me more time i'll give you more time you give me more love i'll give you more love you show me more gratitude i'll give you many more opportunities to show your gratitude to me formula is very simple ye tamam prapatyante as they surrender and to me i reward accordingly everyone follows my path in all respects o sana partha so he is saying i respond every single but you know whatever they respect if they respect i also reciprocate i don't leave anything unattended okay so beautiful this is okay there is one more yes mata ji gari krishna there is one more shloka also samogan sarve bhuteshu nami dveshya astu na priya ka krishna says nobody is my enemy nobody is my friend also how they reciprocate same way i become their friend 
here. Next, still, why people worship Devata? What is the need? After the Lord telling so much, worship me. All the Devatas are working under my guidance. I only give them the power. You ask them something. They will come to me to ask. I sanction. They come and sanction you. After telling so much, still, why is it followed? <clears throat> that is, Kanchanta karma naam siddhim ejanta iha devataka chipram hi manushe loke siddhir bhavati karma ja. Men in this world desire success in fruitive activities, yes. We need success in fruitive activities. Even studying, accumulating degree after degree is a fruitive activity. But we want success in that. And therefore, they worship the demigods. Quickly, of course, men get results from fruitive work in this world. See, Brahma gave the boom benefit. To whom? Kiranya Kachpu. Who is Kiranya Kachpu? Prahlad Maharaj father. He was a demon. He was killing everybody. He, you know, wanted every devata to worship him. He wanted Indra to be his slave. He treated every devata as a slave. And he did one austerity, you know. He went into meditation. He kept on meditating, meditating, meditating for so many years. And hills grew on him. So many ant hills. Then Brahma saw, oh, oh, my devotee is so dedicated to me. Let me come. Brahma came. He poured the water, you know. Then Kiranyaka Kachipu came out. He asked, oh, Kiranyaka I am so pleased with your austerity. What do you want? Kiranyaka Kachipu asked so many things. I want that mortality. I want nobody should kill me. We all are immortal. He wanted mortality. No one should kill him, he thought. How? That too. Brahma said, that is not in my hand. If someone is born, they will definitely die. So, not killing you or you not leaving this body and going is in the Supreme Personality of Godhead's hand. Go and ask. Otherwise, you ask me anything else. What did, what did he ask? I don't want to be killed by either any weapon or anybody. I don't want to be killed inside the house, outside the house. I don't want to be killed during daytime, during nighttime. So many conditions he put to Brahma. Finally, when he became such an you know, uncontrollable Rakshasa, demon, nobody could control him. He was only controlling Devatas, as I said. What happened? He was troubling Prahlad Maharaj. Who is Prahlad Maharaj? The Lord's Devotee. Prahlad Maharaj all the time, like Narada does, Narayana, Narayana. Prahlad Maharaj always used to chant the name of the Lord. Om Namo Bhagavate Vasudevaya. Om Namo Bhagavate Vasudevaya. He used to continuously chant. So, when there was a question mark on Prahlad, Hiranyakach asked, you say your Lord is everywhere? Is your Lord in this pillow? Pillar? Obviously, the Lord had to prove that his disciples' word is true. The Lord did not come to kill. Once again, I am saying, to kill the miscreants. Lord does not have to come. Sitting there, one, one thought of him will kill them. But he came. Why? To make Prahlad's words true. Prahlad told, right? The Lord is in this pillar. So the Lord came from the pillar. So nobody tomorrow will say, whatever the devotee says is wrong. That Lord doesn't like it. That is why. So similarly, over here, <coughs> uh, what is that? Kanchantaka, men in this world, desire success in future activities. And therefore, they worship the demigods. So what we were discussing, those who worship the demigods, you will get the benefit immediately. Brahma also gave it immediately. But to nullify that effect, the Supreme Personality of God had to come. Right? So whatever the devatas sanction, with the Lord's power only, with the Lord's permission only, they sanction. It's not possible. They don't have individual power to sanction the desire of any living entity. Okay? Hare Krishna Mataji. Yeah, yes. 
4.18 next. Chatur Chatur Vanyam Maya Sisham Gunakarma Vibhagashaka Tasya Kartam Abiman Vidya Vidya Kartaram Abhyam <coughs> According to the three modes of material nature and the work ascribed to them. See Krishna has created four Varnashrama, four uh, yes, also that Ashrama and four uh, what is that? Uh, varna. Four Varnas, four Ashramas. Ashrama means yesterday. That is the um, Brahmacharya, Grahastha, Vanaprastha, Sanyasa. Now here it is Varnas talking about. All the Chatur Varnyam. Who are they? Kshatriya, Brahmana, uh, Kshatriya, uh, Vaishya, Shudra. Brahmana whose work is to preach. Learn the Veda and preach. Kshatriya to give protection to them. They are going to the uh, forest to meditate to learn the Veda. In those days, Vedas were learned meditating because it was Shruti. Vedas were only heard. Nobody wrote it. It was for the Kali Yuga people who do not have any knowledge, who forget everything. Veda Vyasa came. The Lord only came in the form of Veda Vyasa and compiled everything, gave in our hand. Still, we do, don't even touch it. We don't even know what is the Veda. Do we know? Definitely not at all. Okay, so Brahmanas. Brahmanas' duty was to spread the knowledge. To give them protection was Chatriya. So how will they eat? So to give them food for, for their healthy body to protect. That is Vaishya, commercial people. So if they all do all these people, who will do the cleanliness work, menial work, which others do not do? So he created Shudras. So they were not by birth. They were by their profession. A Brahmana can be a Shudra. When? When he does the menial work. What is menial work? I know like um, uh, what to say. Disobeying the Guru's order is a menial work. Yeah. And uh, talking ill about the Vaishnavas. Already they are great devotees. Talking ill about them. It's like Shudra. The work of Shudra. Okay. Chatur Varnyam. This is what Chatur Varnyam. Shat, uh, Brahmana Kshatriya Vaishya Shudra. <clears throat> guna Karma Vibhaga Shadha. On the basis of the Gunas the Lord divided, not on the basis of birth. Tasya kartaram apiman, vidya kartaram eva avyayam. According to the three modes of material nature and the work ascribed to them, the four divisions of human society were created. So depending on their work only, the society was created. It's not on their profession, depending on their, whatever work they do. Okay. And although I am the creator of this entire system, you should know that I am yet the non-doer. I don't do anything. I only sit and watch. I only watch people's work. I don't do anything by myself. That means I don't interfere in their willpower. They, I, sorry, I don't interfere in their that small freedom the Lord has given. No, so I don't interfere in that the Lord says. Okay. Hare Krishna, that's the last slide, Mataji. Yeah, we have. Namam karmani limpante, name karme palaschidha, iti mam yo bhajan, iti mam yo bhijanti, bhijanati, karma bhi na sa bhadyate. Namam karmani limpante. There is no work that affects me. Whatever you do, you do. That will not affect me. It will affect you in the next birth. When you take next birth, all the karmas will come behind you. And nor do I aspire for the fruits of action. I am not interested in the benefit, outcome, reward of whatever action I do. One who understands this truth about me also does not become entangled Entangled the fruitive reactions of work. They don't get entangled in the sense one karma binds other, right? They will not get bound by every action. When, when, uh, so Krishna tells, whatever you do, it will not affect me. Similarly, I don't get the benefit of it. But at the same time, one who understand this truth and does any activity, he will not have any bondage. Because 
in his thought, in his action, in his deed. Krishna is in the center. So definitely this will not bind him. That is na uh, karmani limpanti. The actions are not going to bind him. When the actions are performed for the pleasure of the Lord, Supreme Personality of Godhead. Hare Krishna Mataji. Okay. So these all are the things to show whatever you do in this birth, you will become the next. That is karmanu hippi bodhavyam bodhavyam cha vi karmanaka akarmanas cha bodhavyam gahana karmanu gatahi the, uh, the intricacies of action are very hard to understand. Therefore, <clears throat> one should know properly what is what action is what forbidden action is and what inaction is very good shloka the action what we perform are divided into three karma akarma vikarma that's what is the three so what are they <clears throat> karma do your duty you are doing your duty without any attachment that is what should be there in everybody okay now the intricates of the action, which are very hard to understand, therefore you should properly do each and every action. Before we perform any action, we should be knowing what are the consequences of the action. Without knowing this, again, if you do it, nobody will forgive us. We only have to bear the fruit. Nobody else can bear the fruit. If we get fever, we only have to suffer. The other person will not feel the temperature. 104, if we have 104. So we, 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 we only have to bear. That is the meaning of the shloka. Hare Krishna Mataji. So we are not supposed to do any forbidden act. If the Veda say something is forbidden, say for example, one thing I'll tell. That is um, killing animal for the just for the pleasure of the uh, tongue, just for the sake of the taste, people kill animals and they eat, they enjoy that food just for a few hours. Beyond the throat, if it goes, every food is the same. The taste is only till tongue. In spite of that, you see what are all happening. Hare Krishna Mataji. So Chaitanya Mahaprabhu came. All of you know that. He taught how to reach to the Lots of bold, how to chant, how to reach, what are the things it, it is, uh, it matters, it is carried in this birth also, next birth also. Tadvidi pranipate na pariprashena sevya upatekshanti te gyanam gyani nastatva darshinaga. This is uh, the picture what you are seeing is Sandipani Muni Chasram. Who is Sandipani Muni? Krishna's Guru. Krishna doesn't have to learn anything. Then why did he go to Guru? To tell us that we have to have a Guru in our life. We have to surrender to Guru first. We have to, uh, in a systematic process, learn from Guru. That is the reason Krishna himself was an example. Road model. He went to Sandipamuni and he learnt things systematically. Tadviddi pranipatena. Pari prashnena sevaya. We have to humbly ask questions. These days, children know, they ask question only to test teacher's knowledge, whether this teacher knows this or not. That is not the way of testing Guru. We don't have to test Guru. They are again Tattva with. They are the, um, yesterday I told you, remember, Sthita Pragna. They were Sthita Pragna and they have been elevated now. They are the liberated souls. So with they, we don't have to test them at all. So how we should put up our question? Very humbly. Very politely, not with any pride. Okay? Upatekshanti te gyanam. They will give us the advice. Why? Why will they give? Because they are already tattva darshinaha, the realized souls. They are the self realized gyanis. That is why. So, gyani, gyani tattva darshinaha. Just try to learn the truth by approaching a spiritual master. Enquire from him submissively and render service unto him. The self-realized soul can impart knowledge unto you because he has seen the truth. 4.13. Hare Krishna Mataji. 
Oh, it's already time. Oh, we finished that so good. So Parampara, it talks about 4.1 to 4.4. Evam Parampara Praptam Imam Rajarshi Yovidhu Sakalena Manata Yoga Nashta Parantapa. During as the Kal, Treta Satya, Treta Dwapara, it came, no? So the real meaning was lost. It got lost totally. Divine nature of Krishna. Divyam. Paramam Divyam. Okay? Same. Uh, Param Brahma Parandama Arjuna says in 10th uh, Vibhuti Yoga. You are the Parandama. You are the Paramdama. So we have to always glorify the Lord. All paths lead to Krishna. Whether it is Karma Yoga, whether it is Jnana Yoga, whether it is Dhyana Yoga, whether it is Ashtanga Yoga. Finally, everything says that we have to reach the Lord. Okay? That is Mama Vartmanu Vartante. So those who worship me, they will definitely come to me. Why is it said very, very clearly? It is like instead of watering the leaf, instead of watering the fruit, instead of watering the trunk, water the root. What is the root? Supreme Personality of Godhead. No need to satisfy Indra, Chandra, Varuna, Surya, Chandra. How many Devatas we will satisfy? So satisfy that one Supreme Lord, he will satisfy all, all other Devatas will be automatically satisfied. When we pour water in the on the root, automatically fruit comes. You don't have to water on the fruit, right? All Devatas are so pleased with us. And because why? The Lord is pleased. And without asking them, Devatas will give us that blessing. What is that? See, if we are a Shiva Bhakta, he blesses his devotees. Because in the Rudra Gita, Rudra Gita, Shiva glorifies Lord Vishnu. Full Rudra Gita is a glorification of Lord Vishnu by Shiva. So those who worship Lord Shiva automatically become the devotee of Lord Vishnu. As because Shiva himself worships it, Lord Vishnu, right? Attaining jnana through yajna. So that is perform jnana, perform yajna, sacrifices. Automatically we attain the knowledge. Okay. So when Mataji was reading the meanings just now, he was saying, no, at the time of soul leaving the body, we have to bring all the focus over here in the center. When the soul leaves the body, how will you know that the soul is leaving first of all? Otherwise also we can't do this because it is written in the Shastra, when the soul leaves the body, the pain will be equal to 10,000 scorpion biting us at the same time. See, in our body, 10 types of prana goes. Prana, apana, udana, vyana, samana, so many 10 types of prana are going. So when the prana, real prana, real life here has to leave the body, you know, from all the, from, you know, everywhere, of our body, the air has to come to one center. Then it leaves. It can leave from any hole. Navadware Sharirani. This body has got nine holes. It can leave from anywhere. But it is said, if you are able to, if the soul leaves from the Sahasrara, we will reach the Lord's support. If the soul leaves through any other hole, so many kind, I mean so many chapters. In Bhagavatam is said, if it goes through nostril, where will we go? If it goes through ears, where will we go? All those things. In eighth chapter, we will learn that. Whoever thinks me, about me only will come to me at the time of Antakalam, the soul leaving the body. Okay. So all the jnanas, dhyana yoga, ashtanga yoga, by doing everything, even in ashtanga yoga, um, Patanjali says that Ishwara pranidhanani, that means everyone has to depend on the Ishwara, that one Ishwara. He also says, after telling asan pranayam, dharna, dhyan, samadhi, everything is important. Okay, we will again learn in the sixth chapter about the whole Dhyana Yoga. Means of attaining the Dhyana. How can we attain this knowledge, the supreme knowledge? By approaching a spiritual master. By inquiring submissively because they are the Tattva Vita. Just now we saw. Tadviddi Pranipati na Pariprashna ina Seviyam. Upatechanthi Te Dhyanam. Yani Tattva Darshinaka. Because they are the Tattva Darshis.
हरे कृष्णा माता जी हरे कृष्णा माता जी सोल्यूशन फॉर दिस we both are trying me and anuradha mata ji are trying our level best to get the authentication i don't know it is happening mata ji is pick, not picking up the phone i'll talk to aishwarya mata ji tomorrow okay mata ji yeah okay hari krishna hari krishna no doubt mata ji no doubt anybody you can raise your hand okay so if no doubt for anybody should we close it mata ji yes mata ji हरे